It's been a long time since I've made a video, but uh, I think there were just so many different conflicting things going in my head, and I didn't want anybody to take anything the wrong way of what I was saying. I also didn't want to put something out there before I was sure of where I stood on things, and quite honestly, um, I don't know that I'm ever... Um, 100% on on where I am with things. I think I'm always learning and always going with the flow and trying to figure out just what's best for me out there. Um, I really believe in CCSVI as being something that uh, it contributes to our symptoms and multiple sclerosis. I don't know how much I believe in it being a cause I know that I never thought that it was a cure. I know that the doctors involved never thought it was a cure. I know that in uh, the first um, documentary, the W5 documentary, um, it, one of the doctors was asked, do you think this is a cure? And he hemmed and hawed over it. And uh, I don't know if there was some kind of language barrier there. I think there was. That he basically said uh, it was close to it. Um, and I think what we have found out with people who have had amazing results with CCSVI uh, is as long as those veins seem to remain clear, the symptoms do seem to stay away and that the MS does not seem to worsen. Um, for myself, when I had my first CCSVI uh, June 7th in Albany with Dr. Siskin, uh, while on the table I had tremendous results. At least they were for me. Um, they didn't seem to be interesting to my neurologist that I had at the time. And uh, it's not like he saw me right after um, or did any amazing tests on me. Um, but anyhow, uh, over time, things seemed to get less amazing for me. I've taken many treatments. I've been a lab rat. I have tried alternate therapies. I've gone into things with the same mindset as I did with CCSVI. Um, I saw people with different therapies and um, alternative things that reported great results and all kinds of stuff, and it didn't seem to make a difference for me. I went into CCSVI with the same kind of mindset of, uh, we'll just see what it does. Um, uh, I, don't ex I didn't expect it to make me worse with my MS, and uh, it didn't. Um, I have heard, unfortunately, that there are certain people who had those those sorts of results afterwards where their MS seemed to get worse, and I don't know what the situation was for them. I, I know that for many people I know, they had uh, wonderful results, um, and most of them, unfortunately, also seemed to restenose as, uh, as I did. Um, when I went back uh, in May the following year, to Dr. Siskin. Uh, when he went in, the flow was not right, even though uh, my scans um, back here in Ontario were saying that I was flowing like a regular person. Um, apparently, when you put the venogram on, it wasn't. So he went ahead and he ballooned my left jugular again, my right jugular for the first time, and when he went down to the azygous, this time, or azagus, I'm not sure if, how to say it, but the azagus vein he went down to and it was closed up so tight he couldn't get in. So the first time he was able to get in there, second time he wasn't. It wasn't due to a clot, it was just too tight for him to get through. And uh, yeah, so my results after that were not so fabulous. Um, I was quite upset with it because uh, at the time a lot of people were going out to another doctor out west, who uh, another couple of doctors anyway, who were going into different areas into the actual brain, and I wanted everything checked out. And uh, he said that he would check it out. I asked him whether he would treat it, and he didn't give me an answer on that. And these other doctors were treating it. Um, unfortunately, I believe some people also had some bad results from that. Uh, including, I believe, that there has been at least one reported death. But um, I think there's been a few deaths with Tisabri. I think there have been some bad things going on with Galenia. 
Um, I'm pretty sure chemotherapy trials with Dr. Friedman didn't go so great for everybody. Um, yeah, we all take chances. We all make the best decisions for our own health. Um, and uh, I also want to say some of the things that I've seen with um, Aglucoc and the different um, proponents who believe that this is a negative thing for people with MS to do, that CCSVI has been proven and that sort of thing. Well, closed veins are known not to be as good as free-flowing veins, and uh, they are treated here. Um, some doctors have tried to say that it's only in certain regions of the body that that's done and not up here, where um, I happen to know for a fact that there are people on dialysis or people who have had blood transfusions who have had their jugulars opened. And uh, one with MS last year, actually, um, she went septic from an infection up north and uh, had to be flown into Toronto to one of the hospitals. And actually, they had to do a blood transfusion to save her. And when they went to do this, these were closed up. And guess what? She got free CCSVI treatment, even though it wasn't for CCSVI. But it was. Wait a second. Well, these were closed up, and they needed to be opened. And they were. So she did get treatment. It was on OHIP, but it was to give her a blood transfusion. The semantics involved in all this is maddening. It makes me start to wonder whether there's something in the world with how many people are alive today, whether they're... I've got all kinds of... Oh, God. Horrible theories on why our health system wouldn't allow us to have this even if we paid for it out of our own pocket. I would have saved a lot of money doing that. I can't afford to go and have CCSVI done with another doctor, which was one of the reasons why I was upset with uh, my treatment with Albany. If, if I had my questions answered on whether I would have been treated, I would have gone somewhere else. And who knows, maybe they would have taken different chances, and I would have accepted certain risks to try and open things up to get back what I had after my first treatment. Um, anyhow, I, I often wonder now whether certain people or certain groups of people are kept sick uh, and cures aren't found for them because it would be an unacceptable number of people surviving um, with what we have left in the world and, and that sort of thing. Crazy stuff going on in my head. I know I sound like a loon. Um, one of the reasons why I've been trying to keep my mouth shut, but I'm still out here. I still have strong feelings for CCSVI. I still believe that what I felt after having treatment was real. I don't believe that it was a figment of my imagination and that I was able to lift my leg two steps at a time instead of one or none, um, which I'm back to struggling with the one and oftentimes can't do even the one with that leg that was able to go two steps before. My spasticity is back up to where it was before, but it took a long time for it to get right back up to that same level. I would say that today I am no worse than I was when I went for my first treatment. I'm not saying that my MS hasn't had any activity. I just say that my symptoms so far are no worse than where I was, which would be amazing for somebody who had attacks every six months and severely worsening um, disability. Uh, anyhow, not much more to report. Just wanted to put my two cents out there. Um, last but not least, I watched uh, the votes come in for Bill C-280 and um, I'm somewhat disgusted. Uh, we did get very close and I am so so amazed at the work that um, Kirstie Duncan have, has done for us. Um, I wish that we had seven more votes on our side. Um, and in retrospect, it would take less than that. We, I think it was 133 to 139, we lost. Six votes 
difference. Anyhow, it's late here. I need to put my head down and um, ciao.